Well, good evening, everybody. Mr. Mack here. Well, our last chapter, chapter 21 of Restart. Whew. It truly was an involved chapter. My goodness. Chase was framed, and framed simply means that somebody says that you did something and you didn't. Somebody... Um, Pretends that you did something to get others to believe you did something and really you did nothing uh, Bear and Aaron uh, Frame chase he, they came in when uh, Brendan and Joel and uh, We're working on and Kimberly were working on Brendan's latest video uh, one man band They were nearly done bear and Aaron crash into the band room with fire extinguishers, squirting the foam everywhere on everyone, kicking instruments. And, you know, uh, Brendan's trapped in the tuba, Joel's slipping on the floor, Kimberly's standing there giggling. Uh, and when he screams, go get Chase, to Kimberly, Brendan uh, screams, go get Chase, uh, Bear says, well, whose idea do you think this was? This is all Chase's idea. Chase was our boy, not yours. Uh, this is all his idea. Then, moments later, Chase bursts in. What's going on, he says. Bear thrusts the extinguisher into his hands. And, uh, you know. Uh, they have a tug of war. Chase pulls it back, hits Joel in the head isn't good at all it's just quite terrible and uh, the teachers come in the boys the three including Chase go to the principal's office Joe goes to the nurse Brendan's left alone and uh, questioning whether Chase this whole time was his friend Chase um, you know in trying to figure this whole thing out um, is picked up by his father, and his father being a schmuck, his father being, in my opinion, the culmination, the the, <laughs> the bringing together. If you were to melt uh, uh, Aaron and Bear together, that that would make and and age them thirty years. That would be Chase's father. No wonder Chase was who he was, a bully. Chase's father was uh, is that type of character. So anyway, he comes to pick Chase up at school because, you know, the principal called the parents of the three boys. And on the way there, on the way home, uh, his father and is proud of him because he did what he did. He's proud of him because he bullied Joe. He's proud of his son for, for being the old Chase because he wants him to be the old Chase. He got Dr. Nyan, this doctor he paid good money for 60 miles away from Hiawassee to say that Chase was fine and dandy to play football. He got the form signed, gives it to his son and says, be at the football field, you can start practice today. And of course, you remember Dr. Cooperman said, no way, but so Chase is despondent. Chase is depressed. Uh, he knows he's lost his friends, the ones that he made, uh, the real friends, Brendan and Shoshana, the video club. He loved being in the video club. Uh, you know, uh, even Joel was starting to come around a little bit. He knows he's lost it all, and the only thing he has left are his football. And uh, so when we left, he was to be out of the field at 4 o'clock. And, uh, you know, um, so that's that for that. Uh, chapter 22 is Shoshana Weber. And I am really anxious to get into this to find out what Shoshana makes of all this. Because Shoshana was the one. Brendan was the first one to get, starting to get close to Chase. And Shoshana took a bit of time to come around, but she did. And she's, she really started to get close to him. I must be the stupidest person in the history of the world. I get straight A's in school, but obviously that doesn't mean anything. All it proves is I know how to study for a geography test. As a judge of character, I'm an F minus. And of course, she's angry at Chase. That's why she said she gets an S minus 
and, and F minus as a judge of character. I let that jerk, that alpha rat, dupe me into believing he was different, that he was a nice guy. Well, a leopard never changes its spots, and that goes double for a, a shemming lowlife like Chase Ambrose falling off a roof, having amnesia. Big deal. Doesn't mean you're not a rotten person today just because you can't remember being one yesterday. I can't even face my poor brother. I just can't, and, and not because his eye looks like it sustained a direct hit from a cannonball. It's all my fault. I'm the one who told my parents that the coast was clear and it was safe for Joe to come home, and I ended up bringing him back into the same line of fire that almost broke his spirit last year. I could kick myself except for the fact that my toes are pointing in the wrong direction. I can't get anything right. It isn't just that Chase has gone back to his bullying ways. It's that first he convinced everybody he was a new person. And we went for it. Hook, line, and sinker we went for it. Not just me, but the video club, the teachers, Dr. Fitzwallis, the whole school. That must have been his plan all along, to lull us into a false sense of security before pouncing one more time. What a plan it was to ruin Brendan's video, wreck the music room, attack Joel, and blame the whole thing on an imaginary fire. Chase was behind it from the very beginning. From a strategy standpoint, you almost have to admire it. It sure succeeded with flying colors and Joel has the colors to prove it. Black and blue. Blue mostly. I wish I could take my video projector and flush it down the toilet. I'd rather lose all the time that I threw away in the best work I've ever done than have anything linking me to Chase Ambrose. Well, <laughs> Shoshana, all her anger's back. And it isn't I don't think it's just anger. I think the, in the beginning, it was just anger. It was bitter anger. But I think this is more hurt than anger. And, and sometimes in people I know, I can speak for myself, when I'm hurt, it, it, it comes out as anger. It's how it's registered with me. And uh, considering she was getting close, as she, as she said, uh, I think this anger right now is more hurt than anything. Compared to what's happened to my brother, the National Video Journalism Contest is about as meaningful as counting snowflakes in a blizzard. That's another reason to hate myself, that I would let my ambition to win a lousy contest make me so blind. I never should have allowed myself to be pushed into partnering up with Chase, no matter what Brendan and Miss DeLeo said. I don't care what the project is, on a really a great and interesting guy. It wouldn't make any difference if we got an interview with all the singers, signers, sorry, of the Declaration of Independence, brought back to life and reformed into a boy band. It just wasn't worth it. For the smartest kid in school, Brendan's even dumber than I am. He's got, uh, he's got it in his thick head that there's a chance that Chase might be innocent. Brendan's the one who stood up for Chase in the beginning. When this all went down with the fire extinguishers, yes, Brendan was questioning everything. Why not? And still again, we just heard from Shoshana that Brendan is still willing to give Chase a chance, that Chase very well could be innocent. Uh, <laughs> I like Brendan. I don't know, Shoshana, he insists. It was Aaron and Bear who busted up the chute. Chase, Chase could have been trying to stop them. Oh, sure, I return. And he just happened to show up at exactly the right moment? He didn't show up, he argues. I, I sent Kimberly to get him, Brendan says. Joel said you didn't send for Chase. They did. There was a lot going on, he admits. It's hard to remember. I think they sent her first, and then I did. Why couldn't you, why, why couldn't you go yourself? Because I was stuck in the tuba 
he replies, as if it's the most natural thing in the world. Happens to everybody, right? Stuck in a tuba? Listen, I tell him. My poor brother has a technicolor face, courtesy of the guy you say might be innocent. That could have been an accident, a tug of war with the fire extinguisher. Maybe Chase was trying to protect Joel. I roll my eyes. Let him protect somebody else. When it came time to lie his way out of the blame, he was right there with Aaron and Bear. That's all the proof I need. I know what it looks like, he agrees reluctantly. I know. But doesn't Chase deserve the benefit of a doubt? Listen, I challenge. If what you say is true, then Aaron and Bear set him up and nearly got him kicked out of school. And where is he this very minute? Where is he? At football practice with the same Aaron and Bear who should be his worst enemies, right? What does that tell you? Brendan, he's at football practice with Aaron and Bear. Well, it's not like he can come back to video club anymore, right? And in the cafeteria, I persist, who does he eat lunch with? Hmm? The football team. We won't let him at our table. Shoshana, we won't let him come to the table. We're protecting Joel. That's the real meaning of protection. Not cold cocking someone in a fire, with a fire extinguisher. I'm so mad at that jerk. And you should be too. He's like a cobra. He lured us in until we trusted him. And then he struck. And now he slithered back into his old life as if nothing ever happened. Joel may be the one who's bleeding, but the attack was on all of us. And he agrees. Brendan knows I'm right. However, much as he wants to convince himself that Chase is innocent, the whole club knows that we're better off without a guy like that. So how come his name keeps popping up again and again at our meetings? That camera work looks a little shaky. You got to keep it smooth like Chase. Yeah, that's a cool shot. It was Chase's idea to film the worm's eye view and Chase... Chase, Chase. The kid's a mumbler, but you can hear the audio clearly because Chase lay on the floor and held the microphone just out of frame. Chase again. Can we please stop talking about Chase Ambrose? I explode. He's not a god. He's just a person and a lousy person at that. He belongs on the football team with that other, with those other muscle heads. Actually, he belongs chained to a slab of concrete at the bottom of the Mar Marianas Trench. But I'll take the football team if it gets him away from us. Joe has been silent throughout all of this. Now he speaks up. Am I the only one who's noticed that Video Club has gotten kind of lousy? What are you saying? I demand. He shrugs. We all watched Warrior. It's fantastic. Nobody's doing that kind of work anymore. I'm furious. You think that's because we don't have him? My brother looks at me with his one good eye. Just because I hate Chase Ambrose doesn't mean I fall to pieces every time someone mentions his name. Go ahead. Talk about him. I can handle it. This isn't last year. No matter what, I'm not going to be chased out of town again. We slap him on the back and pound his shoulder. A few of us even cheer. Yeah, way to go, Joel. It almost reminds me of the football team, although I'd never admit it. Mr. Leo gives him a big hug. Maybe I can stop beating myself up for getting mom and dad to bring him home from Melton. The very worst happened, and he's okay. I look at my little brother, 14 minutes younger than me. He's growing up. That's it. That's it for chapter 21. Well, 
ladies and gentlemen. Mm. Uh, we heard from Chase, a lot of Chase in chapter uh, 20, uh, 21, sorry. Um, and we just heard a lot from Shoshana, but we heard a lot from the others too. Even from Joel. Um, and Brendan, good old Brendan. Brendan is still, ben, Brendan is loyal. He's faithful, he's true. Uh, he's not going to give up on Chase. And uh, that's someone, if you ever find someone like that in your life, keep them. Keep them. It's someone who's always in your corner. No matter how bad the storm rages, they will, they will battle the storm to get to you and stay with you and comfort you and help you through it. That's Brendan. Seems to be uh, Chase's best bud. Chase doesn't know it. Chase feels as if he's been abandoned, and, and it's not that he's okay with it. He just doesn't know what to do about it. So he's going with the status quo right now, and he's at football practice. It's not to say that he's enjoying it. Remember, he, he really was anxious to get back on the field just to see if he was as good as everybody says he was. Shoshana, I have a feeling Shoshana's going to come around. I do. I, I, I keep thinking of that video camera taping. I keep thinking of that, where that's evidence. If, 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 if it didn't get knocked down in the beginning, it at least has Bear and Aaron crashing through. Uh, and you never know. If it was on a tripod, it, maybe the phone, phone didn't get it. Bear and Aaron, I don't know. So we'll see. We'll see. Even Joel's making, well, poor guy was hurt. But he's making, I don't want to say the best of this, but he's, he's basically saying, listen, I'm good. I'm okay. You know? Anyway. So I'm anxious. The next chapter is we're back. We're back to Chase. So uh, I will be on here tomorrow night and get uh, Chase on there. We've only got seven chapters to go until the end. And uh, wow. Mm. I am really good. This this book has all of the hallmarks of what's known, and we won't talk a lot about it. I got to let you go. Something called the hero's journey, which is kind of a uh, a, a a way to write, or a, a a way to write a book. The way a lot of books are written, everything from Harry Potter to Star Wars to whatever. The the hero's journey is is how to tell a story with the main character, the protagonist, the hero, the villains. It's got a formula, and this book has all the harm hallmarks of that, uh, most of the hallmarks anyway. We'll talk about it at another time. Take care. Have a great night. Stay safe. Stay masked when you go out. Hands away from eyes, nose, and mouth. I wish you all the best. Get some rest, and uh, come back for the next chapter. Bye-bye.